Hey friends, as we go from scratch here to scratch, I wanted to put the two programs side by side so that we can talk about some of the differences and similarities between them. This is not a comprehensive video, it just has a couple highlights so you can feel comfortable going from scratch junior to scratch. So let's get started. There are a ton of similarities between the two programs because they're made by the same company. Scratch is basically a fuller version, bigger version of Scratch Junior. And they are both block coding programs, which means they both start with a sprite or a character that we then pull down blocks and put in a sequential order, which is giving them an algorithm that they can follow. So both programs have sprites, they have backdrops, they have color-coded menus of blocks which we can pull out and put in an order. They both allow us to do two sets of instructions or more called parallel coding. We can make our sprite walk and jump and talk all at the same time in both programs. Both programs allow you to draw your own sprites and to modify the sprites that are in them. And both programs allow you to have total creative control of what you want your program to look like. So now let's talk about the differences. You'll notice that Scratch looks pretty similar if you're familiar with Scratch Junior. But in Scratch Junior, our color-coded block menus run along the bottom and our design board is at the very bottom of the screen. So you're going to pull out blocks on any of the menus and you're going to pull them down to your design board and hook them up left to right. If you look at Scratch, we have that same design board but it's here in the middle and instead of going left to right, in Scratch you go top to bottom. So when you pull out your blocks, you're going to add them together top to bottom. And you'll notice that your block menus have increased. You have a lot more colors because you have a lot more options in Scratch to personalize and make your project flow. Both programs also have sprites, but with your sprite menu, it is located now. Your sprites are down here on the bottom right in Scratch. Your sprite menu has gotten a little bigger. You can choose your own sprite. You can paint a sprite just like in Scratch Junior. You can tell it to surprise you and pick a sprite for you. Or this is the nice feature for Scratch. You can upload your own sprite. So if you have a graphic, an icon, or a picture, you can upload that to be your own sprite. So you could even take a picture of yourself and make yourself a sprite in your own project. Backdrops, instead of being located at the top like they were in Scratch Junior, are all the way over to the right. It's called the stage. And it has the same menu that sprites have. You can choose your own, you can make one, or you can upload one. So I wanna show you another difference with sprites. The sprite menu in Scratch is huge. That's why it has all of these custom categories up top so that you can kind of narrow it down. But you'll notice as I go over some of these sprites, they move because they have something called costumes, which allows your sprite to be in different positions or in some sprites, it's different colors, so that you can have a more realistic and dynamic effect with your sprites. And one of the biggest changes that between Scratch and Scratch Junior is that you can share your project with your friends. You can take your file and you can save it down to your computer and then you can send that file to a friend. You can upload it to your Google Drive and send your friend a link and then they can upload it into their own CS First Scratch program and then they can use yours. You can make a copy of your program and they can use it as a starting point for theirs or they can just have fun with it. Essentially, anything you can do in Scratch Junior, you can do in Scratch plus more. So I'm going to show you a couple of the things. I'm going to make my stage big and I'm going to click on my green flag here. So I start out with Scratch. I can make him say hi and then I think maybe it will start him walking. So he's doing a costume change so it looks like he's kind of walking. I'm going to add some backgrounds. It's just gonna cycle through all the backgrounds that I wanna cycle through. He is having a fun time walking through everything. You can, with your parallel code, with all your coding, I can make him jump. I can make him change colors. I can make him do flips. And I can even start some music. You can add other sprites as you want. 
and you can make it as customized as your imagination allows. So I want you to be excited to go into Scratch and be ready to come have fun. Created using Powtoon.